You've heard all of this. You as they should be. Why don't you change? What prevents you? If each one of us asks that question, not verbally or merely intellectually as an entertainment, but ask that question more seriously and deeply, what's your answer? What's your answer to this problem that human beings have lived this way for millennia upon millennia? Why haven't they changed? Why haven't you, who are, the, who are listening now, why haven't you changed? You know, if you don't change, what the consequences are? You'll be national, nationalistic, you'll be tribal, insular, isolated, and therefore having no relationship globally, fighting, fighting, fighting. Building up more and more armies to destroy each other. Now, why don't you, if you are at all serious in this matter, why don't you ask yourself that question? Why am I, a human being, who have been through all this? Why haven't I changed? What would be your answer? Either you are not serious, you want to live a very, very superficial life. And that superficiality temporarily satisfies you. Or you really don't care. As long as you have immediate pleasures, immediate satisfactions, you really don't care. You don't care for your children if they are murdered. If you really have no deep uh, love, affection for them. If you had, you would prevent all wars. So, apparently, none of these things mean anything to you. Or probably, you are so deeply conditioned, psychologically, because we are biologically conditioned, that's a different matter altogether. But psychologically conditioned, and one is not aware of it. And you can, unless that, in that there is freedom from that conditioning, you will go on this way. After all, life is what? One global unitary movement. So, in the same way, our consciousness is common to all mankind. Now, if I radically change, surely it affects the rest of the consciousness of man. Now, why don't you change? Bodies of human beings that you appreciate the most. The fact that they can learn many new things, if given a chance, if given the opportunity and the environment to do so. Other than that, human beings have turned extremely flexible, being a big addition to cut up people, torture them, do anything, without feeling any kind of pain at all. In fact, waiting for the next event. Okay? Nobody out there is to be blamed for their behavior. That's what I'm trying to say. There'll be no prisons, no police, no government. As long as you've got government, you're going to have the base of corruption.